Good day. In this video, we are going to try to do the last two questions of the 2022 NCA Level 3 Statistics paper. It's called Probability Distribution. And today now we're going to look at question 3E and 3F. So now let's read the question. Compare your probability estimate using two different probability models with your probability calculated from part A. Which model gives the closest estimate of the probability that a customer spend more than 150 in one transaction? Okay, this we need to go back to the one we have done before. So I'm going to go through step by step. Okay, so the observed probability for more than 150 is 0 0.33 or 33 over 100. That is the question we've done before, okay? So you can see on the right hand side there, okay? 33%, 33 of 100, that is the observed probability, okay? Next week, question 1B, we did a normal distribution, okay? So normal distribution, the graph looks like this, okay? So the probability more than 150 is 0 0.3151, so we have written that 0 0.3151. And last but not least, in the last video, we did the probability on the triangular distribution, and the probability that is more than 150 is 0 0.333, which can be confirmed using here. 0 0.333 more than 150, 0 0.333. So to answer that question, very simple. The estimate of the probability of a customer spending more than 150 is closer to the observed probability. Which number is closer to 33 over 100? It has to be the triangular distribution. is 0 0.333, which is about the same as 33 over 100 compared to the normal distribution, which is 0 0.3151. And that is a merit in this question. Okay, last but not least, we need to justify our distribution. So we shall do the last part of the question. And that, if you can get it right, will be an, another excellent question. Okay, so we shall read the question. Recommend which model, whether the normal distribution or the triangular, the alternative model we did was the triangular, should be used for modeling the spend per transaction in this particular store. In your answer, you should justify the choice of distribution and identify the parameters of this distribution. So, we will decide to do on triangular distribution because in a triangular distribution, there's no fixed point. You mean that no end point. So, they do not give the probability that's less than zero and more than 250. The second point, the triangular distribution allows for non-symmetrical distribution of amount spent. Okay? Because if you look at the the uh, observed probability, it is more non-symmetrical than symmetrical. If you look at the original question, okay, I'm going to get the paper for you shortly. Okay, th this question, it is more skewed to the left than it is symmetrical, okay? So that is why we're going to choose the triangular distribution and we're going to give you more ammunition now, okay? The normal distribution has no fixed endpoint, okay? While the triangular has fixed endpoint, so this gives some probability of spending less than zero or more than 250. But however, in our example, this is not uh, applicable. So that's why we are going to choose the triangular distribution for our model. Next, the normal distribution is symmetrical, which I spoke earlier, but the observed data, the one that I showed you before, shows otherwise. More than 50% of the customer spend slightly more than this, so this model is again not appropriate. So the two points that shows that triangular distribution is more appropriate. And last but not least, you can argue that normal in normal distribution, the mean, median and mode, they are all in the middle of the graph. In the observe, the one that we showed earlier, the mean is 1 to 7 and the mode is 130. They are not equal. Again, it is not appropriate. So, it, excuse me, if you can argue your point, the three point or two point, you will get excellent in this paper and another E7 in this paper. Have a good day everyone and I hope you ace this paper at the end of the year and I'll see you in another video in another topic. Cheers everyone, have a good day, bye.